So my name is Kara Bertrand, and I'm going to read most, but not all, of the 13-part Songs of the Psyche in the book of the same name from 1985. One, <coughs> a character, indistinct, entered, looked about him, and began. Why had I to wait until I am graceless, unsightly, and a little nervous of stooping until I could see through those clear eyes I had once? It is time, and I am shivering as in stupid youth, who have stood where I was born and snapped my bitten fingers. Two, it was time to settle in and feel what it is like to be half safe. When I think of what I could, my brain hammers and I could dance, but I settled back and turned inward. I smelled at a crack in the dirt and was taken away, teeth grinding and eyes alight. An unholy muttering lingered on my palms as I laid them to my cheeks and slept. Three. Chew nine times on the chosen meat and set it down outside her door. Then, when you wake, rat small, rat still, you will carry her life in your palms, rat self. Five. What a thing it is to know a thing full fifty years, with kindness as of one thing for another of only its kind. A monster bore me, and I bear a monster with me. Six. I have kissed the inner earth and the grin of stone upon stone, and it was time again to surrender to your beaten smile. Seven. And she came by a little haunted path with modest run advancing, dancing in her flowers awkwardly up to me. It was something to take a little of the spring out of a person's step. She offered me her hands. I took them in mine, a verse, but it was enough. We were no longer two, but a third fumbling ghost, that polite ghost of its own matter. Eight, a tree with a twisted trunk, two trees grown into one, a heart carving grown thick the cuts so deep. The leaves reached out past us and hissed, we were so fond of you. There was a stir of flower heads about our feet, gold for the first blaze, red for the rough response, dark blue for misunderstanding, jet black for rue, pale for the unfinished children that are waiting everywhere. Nine. Night Boxes, body masks, tilted up, eyes, a city of lights, a cistern hiss in their erect ears. They are dreaming one another. Eleven. Come with me o'er the crystal stream where eyelids dart in the dappled shadows to where you wait on the farther bank, troubled and pretty with tattered basket. Your feathery flesh I will kneel and kiss. Your slender bones I will take in mine. I will pick a straw from your stiffened dress and so retire while the grasses whisper and leeches wrinkle black in the water, willow leaves that have fed on blood. 12. It is time, the night gone, first light fidgeting under the leaves. Let us kneel and rinse the crust from the cup. 13. I woke suffocating, slipped through a fault into total dark. No, I came to myself in the middle of a dark wood, <coughs> electric with hope. Please, yet it is a matter of negative release, of being thrown up out of a state of storm into a state of peace, or a sleep, or a dream, or a system of dreams. By normal process, organic darkness would summon self firstly into being, and upright on a flat plane, a bone stirs in first clay, and a beam of light 
struck and snaked with glittering across the surface and multi meanings and vanishes. Then stealers of fire, dragon slayers, helpful animals, and ultimately the cross. Unless the thing were to be based on sexuality or power.